Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Mercedes Benz C43 AMG. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Ken Garf Mercedes here in Salt Lake. Give me some time with this car. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check what they have currently. If you have any questions or need any help, just ask for Dylan. And then I'll also include a link to my car band guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a turbocharged two liter four cylinder that is paired to a nine speed automatic transmission and a hybrid system. Fuel economy is 20 around town and then 28 on the highway with power outputs being 402 horsepower and then 369 pound feet of torque. Before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So taking a look at the hood, it's kind of hard to see the body lines because of the white paint on this particular car, but of course you got the AMG badge right there. I like the headlight design here. It's distinctively different looking compared to a regular C-Class. I mean, the shape's the same, but just the lighting elements look a little bit different. And then you've got the vertical slats there with the grille, AMG logo off to the side. And then you can see here how it's darker with the trim. And putting it all together, I think it's a cool looking car. Now around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 245, 35, 20 in the front, and then 265, 30, 20 in the rear. And with the wheels here, you've got this silver on the top, and it's kind of darker down below. I got AMG there on the silver brake caliper as well, so it's a pretty sharp look. Got your turbo badge here on the side. And you guys can see with the mirror cap how that's blacked out, and then same thing with all the window trim, and then that's cool with the silver on the handles. And then it's actually blacked out there at the bottom. But there's your full side profile. And this leads us to the key fob. AMG logo there, lock, unlock function. Got the opening for the trunk and then AMG logo on the back as well. And we'll pop her right open. Now popping into the rear, you can see we've got a box of goodies here in the back, but solid storage space. That's one of the things that is nice about the new C-Class. It's just a practical car overall. And the trunk's actually fully automatic, so just press that and that will lower the trunk lid back down. Taillight design's really fancy looking. And I think it's pretty cool. C43 there, you can see with the rest of the badging. And look how aggressive these exhaust tips are. It's pretty cool looking. But putting it all together, let me guys think about the looks. Now take a look at the door panel, you can see soft touch here and down below. I like that trim there, and then look at the handle as well. And then taking a look at these seats, again, nice trim all down the center portion. Legroom back here is solid. Got a little storage pocket. Got some fence here in the rear as well. And then we actually get a sunroof here in the back. And the headroom back here is it's decent. Now take a look at the front door panel again. You've got that nice stitching and everything down below as well. All of our controls here. The mirrors do power fold in. Got our seat adjustment there. Heated and cooled seats, memory seats. Blind spot ring with the mirrors. And then since these seats have cooled function, they're perforated in the center. Got your lumbar there. Fancier looking pedals. Got your light control right there too. And you can see the trim here. And also on top with the dash. Pretty cool design all across. Taking a look at the steering wheel, you can see perforated on either side. Got the AMG logo there at the bottom. Drive mode select on one side, and then this is to change different options depending on what's selected. Paddle shifters there on the back. And then you got practical controls like adaptive cruise control, volume controls, you got that for the infotainment system. That control stack is for that screen. And then you have your regular turn signal stock and then column shifter. Full digital gauge cluster. Uh, this is Mercedes newer unit, so you can customize it so you can change like what it looks like, for example. Pretty cool setup, uh, easy to use as well. And then we've got a 360 camera system. Uh, you can see the bird's eye view there. Good resolution overall with the system. Mercedes does a really good job with their camera systems, I'd say. And then as for the rest of the infotainment system, it's the S-Class infotainment system is what I call this. Uh, so basically shortcut buttons here at the bottom. Then you got the main screen, response time with the screen itself. It's great, it's easy to use, all of that. And then this is pretty fun with the little AMG tab. It lets you change through the different drive modes here on the C43. 
Got some storage space here, and then this is cool. That <laughs> kind of pops out. Um, we got a wireless phone charging pad inside. And then, speaking of storage, got more here. Nice trim on the top. You can see the trim on the dash. Goes all across the vents and all of that. Storage in the glove box. And then up top, we do have a center. And this leads us to the window sticker. So C43, got all your standard equipment there. Base MSRP. Total MSRP 70,110. See how it drives. Right, visibility before we set off. Here's just putting over the hood, both the mirrors, and throw the rest of the rear. C43 away. This is an interesting review day. Reviewing this back to back with the AMG GT <laughs> 63. Super comparable cars. There's only a, uh, what was it, 70,000? There's only like a $130,000 price difference between them. Not that big of a difference. Not that big of a difference at all. <laughs> Objects aside, seats are pretty comfortable. I can tell you right off the bat, this is firmer than a regular C-Class. You know, the C300, when I say regular C-Class, I'm referring to the C300. Okay, so actually driving the C43, ride quality is pretty good. Again, it's firmer than a regular C-Class, but it's still comfortable. Definitely feels like punchy for a four cylinder, just like boom. It's nice. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty comfortable going over the bumps and everything. Don't know what these people are doing. I love how Salt Lake has all this infrastructure for like, they have these big sidewalks and crosswalks and they've got all this like pedestrian friendly stuff they've added. And nobody uses it still. <laughs> People still jaywalk. People still... It's its funny. It's like, well, that's what your uh, infrastructure has earned you. Nothing. Yeah, this isn't even sport mode, and it's pretty, pretty aggressive. Firm. Definitely firm. Wow. Going over that bump, and it's... Planted feel, that's for sure. Ooh, you hear that? It's got pops out of the back. That's fun. That's fun. It's one of the fun things about, you know, turbocharged cars is you can do stuff like that. Yeah, listen to that. It's quick, too gonna pop back into comfort but it's got good it's got good punch i think mercedes they do a really good job with engines even smaller engines just making them feel powerful um i mean this still has that peaky four-cylinder turbo feel but it's dare i say better than most better than most so to sum things up here with the c43 amg i think it's a cool looking car it's comfortable it drives well and it's quick and it, it sounds pretty good and then that's sport plus setting the little pops and everything so let me know what you guys think about this and let me know if this is is it a real amg if it has a four cylinder i want you guys to let me know your thoughts on that